All right, guys, here's the piece for the dragonfly. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this little saw, cut it off right about there. All right. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Carving with Brian. Today, I got this branch that we found out in, uh, mammoth out at the lake we're going to carve it into a dragonfly it's going to be different than last time so sit back and relax everybody enjoy the show all right guys so uh first step is getting all this bark off some of it i'll be able to just kind of chip apart peel it off but i think i'm just going to use the dremel and do it the easy way so I'll get back with you guys in a minute, all right? I'm going to use a, uh, just a drum sander. And we're just going to go through and just knock all this crap off. All right? So that's what we're going to do right now. Guys, I'm all covered in dust. That took a while. Anyways, we got the, uh, the little branch here sanded down. I ended up uh, switching over to the Cutsaw Flame Burr. That was a lot faster than that stupid, silly little drum sander. That was never going to work. It was... Uh, this branch had a lot of bark on it. It's a little thinner than I expected it to be, but we're going to work with it anyways. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a Sharpie. We're going to draw the dragonfly on how we want. I may cut this down a little bit because it is pretty long. But anyways, we're going to draw the dragonfly out. And then I'll get back to you as soon as I draw them. And we'll uh, cut them out. All right? All right, guys, so I used this little saw here, and I cut off that much. It was a little too long for my liking. Anyways, I know it's kind of hard to really understand right now what's all going on with my drawing because it's a bunch of chicken scratch. But the idea is his head's here, and the, this line is just a center line, so I knew where to start. It's going to be his, like, center part of his body where the wings will go. Underneath will be, like, a belly area. And then you can see down on this tail how each segment starts getting shorter and shorter and shorter. So I'm going to set the uh, camera up in the little holder here. And we're just going to start carving on this dude. We're going to use this taper burr to start with. And we're just going to just go over all these lines and kind of cut them in. Later we'll go back through and we'll undercut everything and we'll make it look pretty. Alright, so let me get this camera set up and we'll get going.
All right, guys, so I got most of the lines carved in. Now we're gonna switch over to the uh, flame burr. We'll go around, we're gonna round out his head. We'll work on this body section here. Make it, you know, kind of round out the belly area. We'll also go through and start tapering the tail down. As it goes further down, it's gonna taper smaller and smaller. So, anyways, uh, I'll get the camera set back up. We'll switch over to the flame burr. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start chipping away at this dude. All right. Well guys, I guess we're done carving for right now. <laughs> Power's gone out in the neighborhood, so we're gonna have to take a break. Anyways, let's kind of go over what we did so far. We rounded the head. We got the body kind of carved in how we want it. You can kind of see the segments there, right? How it separates. We're gonna taper that all down. And then, after we carve that, I have this uh, wind vane thing that I found while doing the dump run. These are going to be the wings. Uh, let's see if I can find the one. I experimented on it with one. I don't know where I put it though. But anyways, I was able to separate it from the metal, no problem from these uh, round metal and flatten it out. So it should work just fine. Recording with, hey guys, I'm recording with uh, no light on just so you can see how dark it is in my neighborhood right now. All the lights are out everywhere. I'm gonna actually walk down to the end of the street and see how far, how far it's dark. It's not that far. That's uh, another city over there feeling. They still got light. But where I live, it's all dark out here. Except for headlights. There's some headlights up there. But all the way down the street, it's dark. So, anyways, yeah, no carving tonight. We're done. I'll upload a little video for you guys as soon as uh, power comes back on. All right. Power's back on and the fish are okay. It was out for about an hour. I had to get this filter started again and reprime it. Other than that, everybody's good. Squirtle looks like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> 